Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Chef Vic Cuisine. Today, we're making macaroni and tuna salad. Now this is one of my favorite dishes for the summertime, but you can also enjoy this all year round as well. So, let's get started. All right, so for the ingredients, you're gonna need two cups of elbow macaroni pasta, one tablespoon of salt, one and a half cups of canned sweet peas, drained and rinsed, two celery stalks, finely chopped, three hard boiled eggs, finely chopped with the yolks removed, half of a green bell pepper that you're gonna finely chop, one 12 ounce can of albacore tuna that you're gonna drain and then dice that up, three tablespoons of sweet pickle relish, one and one thirds cup of Miracle Whip. Some salt and pepper to your own personal taste. And then finally, you're gonna garnish the dish with paprika. All right, so to get things started, you're gonna bring two pots of water, one large and one medium size to a boil. And in the large pot, you wanna cook the pasta according to the package directions using one tablespoon of salt in the water that you use to make the pasta with. And now at the same time in the smaller pot, you can start boiling your three eggs. And once the water in the smaller pot reaches a boil, it should take about 20 minutes for the eggs to become completely hard boiled. Don't forget to smash that like button, share this video, and subscribe to this channel. And stay tuned until the end of this video for a sneak peek of the recipe coming next week. Now with the pasta, you want to add the pasta when the water is boiling and then allow it to cook uncovered for about nine to 11 minutes. After the minutes are up, taste test a couple of the noodles to see if the texture is right. And then once you confirm that, you can take out all the noodles and drain them into a colander and then rinse them under cold water. You used a lot of salt in the pasta bath, so rinsing them will be fine. They'll still have a lot of flavor left. So after the pasta has been drained and rinsed, you wanna add the pasta to a large size bowl. And a trick to easily remove the shell of a hard boiled egg is that once the time is up on boiling the eggs, you can remove them and place them in an ice water bath. This shocks the eggs and causes the inside of the egg to contract somewhat and allows the outer peel to come off much easier. Now the next step is preparing all the ingredients for the macaroni and tuna salad. So first off, we're gonna start with the celery. You just wanna finely chop that up and remove the end pieces of each celery stalk. So once you go through one round of chopping the celery, you just want to double back on that and chop them up some more so that you can make sure that each bite of the salad contains a little bit of celery. Next up is the green pepper. So like I mentioned before in the ingredients, all you need is half of a green pepper. You just want to slice that along the length of the pepper and then finally chop those slices. You just want to make sure, similar to the celery, that you have really fine small sizes of green pepper so that each bite of the salad you have will have some of that flavor. Next up is the boiled eggs. You can easily remove the shell from each of these and it's even easier, unlike what I did in the video, to remove the shell with your hands in the water with the egg. The outer shell releases easier in the water so if you want it to go even faster, just peel the egg in the water. And while the next step is technically optional, I like to remove the yolks from each of the hard boiled eggs and just use the egg whites for this recipe. So once you just have the egg whites, you just wanna finely chop those up and set those aside for the salad. 
Okay, so for assembling the salad, you just want to make sure you have all the pasta in a large bowl, and then add your chopped green pepper, celery, and boiled eggs. And then you want to add in the cup and a half of drained canned sweet peas. And then on top of that, you want to dice up the can of albacore tuna that you've already drained and rinsed prior. And then when you're adding the tuna to the salad, just make sure you leave any excess liquid in the can. And then make sure there's not any large chunks of tuna in the salad before you start tossing it. So you want to gently toss the salad to distribute all of the ingredients amongst itself, taking special care not to break any of the peas. And once the ingredients have all been well incorporated, you can add in the Miracle Whip and the relish. And at this point, you want to continue to stir it gently, um, making sure that the Miracle Whip and the relish have a chance to coat all of the salad. Once all of these ingredients have been well combined, now you can add your salt and pepper. And you can add it to your own personal taste. I just find that it's easier to add about a quarter teaspoon at a time of salt to really um, taste test the dish. Too much salt and you'll kill it. Adding black pepper is a little bit more forgiving. So you can see in the video, I go about two different rounds of seasoning the salad after I toss it a bit, just to make sure that each bite will have enough flavor. And as any good chef knows, give it a couple of taste tests to make sure that the flavor is what you're expecting. And then once it's to your liking, you wanna garnish the entire dish with a healthy coating of paprika. And then you wanna cover this dish either with a large lid or with plastic wrap and refrigerate it until it's ready to serve. And just like Revenge, it's best served cold. And just like that, you made your very own macaroni and tuna salad. For a tip or a variation of this recipe, try adding a tablespoon of Dijon mustard for an extra kick to this dish. For any cookout or get together that my family has, I'm always looking for this dish on the table. And I hope you guys enjoy this recipe as much as I do. As always, this recipe and many more can be found in my cookbook, Chef Vic Cuisine, Volume 1, Finding Your Inner Chef. And that's available on Amazon, and I'll be sure to leave the link to that in the description box. Thank you all for watching, and don't forget to smash that like button, share this video, and subscribe to this channel. And stay tuned for next week where I show you how to make these candy cane cookies, just in time for the holidays. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next week on another episode of Chef Vic Cuisine, and until then, peace.